The Supreme Court of Belize is the highest judicial office in the land, maintaining legal authority over civil and criminal matters, as well as appeals from the magistracy. On the second Monday at the beginning of each calendar year, dozens of attorneys and others within the court system come together with jurists to celebrate a new annual schedule. This morning was no different, save for appeal turnout from members of the bar. Attendance notwithstanding, the customary display of pageantry took center stage on Regent Street as the brief procession made its way from Wesley Methodist Church to the steps of the grand old edifice facing Battlefield Park. Following an inspection of the Guard of Honor, the audience moved to the chamber of the presiding judge where a series of speeches were delivered. The first address was given by Chief Justice Kenneth Benjamin, touching on a number of civil and criminal matters dispensed with in 2017. In 2017, a total of 838 civil claims, inclusive of petitions for bail, were filed. 711 claims were disposed of, 364 divorce petitions were filed, and 292 decrees were granted. Criminal Division. The disposal of cases in the Criminal Division was severely hampered by the absence of one judge from the Central District. Throughout 2017, the list for that court remained at 131 cases. However, with the engagement of two additional judges, it's expected that the rate of disposal will be significantly increased. The proposed sentencing guidelines are in the final stages of completion. Accordingly, the basis for sentence indications will be provided to assist in encouraging early guilty pleas. While the Chief Justice reviewed the achievements of the judiciary over the past year, he stopped short of discussing the accumulation of pending cases on his desk. Instead, he focused on a number of suits that were dispensed with, as well as the number of inmates on pretrial detention. According to statistics received from the Colby Foundation, 424 persons are awaiting trial, 5 persons are awaiting decision, 2 persons are awaiting sentence, and one person is detained pending extradition. Of the 230 accused persons awaiting trial in the Supreme Court, 156, or 68.26%, have been in custody for over two years. As earlier iterated, the task of the two additional judges will be to manage and address the cases of those persons whose time on remand has been lengthy. Those two judges include newly appointed Justice Marlon Williams, who was sworn in on Friday. Speaking on behalf of the legal fraternity, President of the Bar Association of Belize, Priscilla Banner, subtly underpinned its position where the court system is concerned. The Bar's message to the judiciary is that we are each other's keepers. We are the guardians of each other's <coughs> mandate. What does it mean when we say that we are each other's keepers? It means that just as we expect the judiciary to ensure that attorneys at all times do what is required of them, whether through guidance in court or guidance out of court, through discipline in the GLC, so too it is expected that we as attorneys will, ne will whenever it is necessary, do what is, is expected of us if we perceive a threat to the integrity and efficiency of the legal system. The significance of the legal system cannot be overstated. The legal system affects every part of our society. For his part, Attorney General Michael Perfeet moved the adjournment by first speaking on the appointment of Justice Williams to the Supreme Court bench. I must start from the outset by congratulating and thanking Justice Marilyn Williams for taking up appointment as a judge of the Supreme Court and for being willing to leave her illustrious private practice, my lord, and offer herself up for service to the judiciary and the country. I know Justice Williams both personally and professionally, and I can boldly say, my lord, that Justice Williams is the embodiment of quality in all respects. Elsewhere, the AG spoke on significant progress made in respect of the Toledo Land Rights Commission, which falls under his ministry. There was a Toledo my Land Rights Commission under the directorship of Ms. Alamia, in which we work towards ensuring that the, uh, the Mayas get the rights that they deserve fully within the Constitution in respect of the rights of every other citizen in Belize. Under the ministry as well, Malar, we swore in on September 16, 2017, some 78 alcaldes and deputy alcaldes. 
This is a landmark occasion in Belize because for the first time, the alcaldes were sworn in by the Attorney General. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayetano.